The models that we have developed in terms of living together, the social contracts that we have, and the underlying premises of what shapes architecture are by now exhausted. We are very fluid in our genders, in our biologies, in our ethnicities. We are also both biological and technological. We have devices planted in our bodies. We live with other species. And our way of behavior so far has actually affected these other species negatively and as a result has turned to affect us negatively. The title of this Biennale is a question. It has a question mark at the end. This is the first time the Biennale in Venice has a question as a title. And it's an open question. The architecture has an ability to organize space. And in doing that, it encourages people to interact and live together in particular ways. And these could become alternative models to how society can be shaped. Architecture has always been a convening discipline, a synthetic discipline that brings together very different fields, very different arts to make the architectural project happen. But somehow over the years, we've excluded the experts and we've excluded the artists. For us to maintain our agency and to strengthen it, we need to embrace the complexity and we need to be the conveners. And we also need to be the hosts of other arts rather than the dominant art. In terms of the response to the environmental question, it is no longer a technical question only. It's also an aesthetic question. It's a behavioral question that infiltrates every aspect of the architecture. It is almost like architecture is now completely imbued with that environmental ethic. And it's producing amazing results. We have to think across political boundaries. The question of the commons is very much directed and enabled by our ability to see them as one entity rather than as being divided by political borders. The architectural representation plays a very important role in helping us think beyond the political boundaries. The question is, how will we live together? We're truly asking architects around the world to respond from their experiences, but also hypothetically, thinking forward about how architecture can come up with propositions of arrangement of space and people in space, how we can imagine society at different scales, from a kind of interpersonal, but also interspecies level, to the reimagined household, to the reimagined community, across borders as one planet, especially as we confront global challenges like the pandemic and climate change.